What time is it? It's time to cook! It's time to cook! So today what we'll be cooking is a lovely recipe when you have leftover eggs. It's called egg muffins. That's what I call it. That's what the internet calls it. Enjoy making egg muffins. Mm-hmm. Look, we have a little helper in the kitchen. Hey, come back. No, help. Come on. No. So for this recipe, we need uh, an assortment of items. Actually, you don't need any of these items except this item. This item is eggs. This item is the eggs that are going bad in your fridge because you forgot that they were there. You need these eggs. As many as you want, as few as you want. It helps if you have more because then you have more muffins. Yeah. Some other ingredients you might like to have are some cheese, some more cheese, some leftover meatballs and tomato sauce stuff, your lovely seasonings, and some vegetables because you love vegetables. And of course we need our muffin tins. I suppose you can make this also with a quiche, but that is not as fun at all. Not fun. I forgot what I was going to say. The cool thing about this recipe is that you can basically use whatever you want in it besides the eggs. The eggs is the important thing as I have gone over before. Don't forget the eggs because then the recipe doesn't work. But yeah, you can pretty much use anything you want. Uh, if you don't want cheese, use something else, use some other vegetables, whatever. It's a great leftover recipe. This recipe gets two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, it's a big thumb. <laughs> okay. And a cat. Let's get cracking knacking on these eggs. Oh, yes. Can't do it one hand. Our gelatinous pile of eggs, it's time to add all our other delicious ingredients. Do you know the proper way to get seeds out of a pepper wheel? No. You spank it. Baby spanks. And with the magic of editing, our chopping is done. Yes. We're gonna add our peppers. Whatcha? We're gonna add our meat, including the sausage we forgot to mention earlier. Watcha! We're gonna add our cheese and cheese. Bam, bam, bam. More cheese. More cheese. Bam. Cheese. Sauce is sauce about a spoonful. Mmm, mmm, yes. Then it's time for the seasoning. Bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Of course, always bam to taste. Once you're done with all adding all your ingredients, you're gonna want to stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. This might have been helpful if we had beaten the eggs earlier, but that's okay. Just beat, beat, beat those eggs. Mm -hmm. If you have not already, preheat that oven, son. You're gonna go to 350. Ah, uh, yeah. While your oven preheats. Try and give your best friend Kitty his kitchen help for a high five. Hey Kitty, want a high five? Huh? Huh? No? Just sniff? Just uh, Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Super big board step coming up. Be ready. Super duper, make sure that you spray your pants. Grease your pants. Grease your muffin pants. If you don't do it, you're gonna have muffins that are stuck to the pan. And you don't want that because then you don't get to eat them. That's terrible. Terrible. So once you've got what looks like a totally disgusting, gross, barfy mess, but totally tastes de definitely delicious. Trust me, it totally tastes delicious. You're going to want to pour it into your lovely prepared muffin tins. And be careful because it's, 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 be careful. So you're going to want to try and fill them about two-thirds to about three-quarters of the way full to allow some room to grow. I know a little bit over full, but that's just because I didn't, that I uh, just, I, I wanted to use it up. If you have extra, you can totally make it into a fancy quiche with a regular pie pan, but like I said, 
quiches aren't fun. So they probably still taste exactly the same. And also delicious. Yes. No shame in quiches. No. And then you're going to want to pop those buggers in the oven. Probably about 20 minutes. But you want to check them. And it should be, when you pull them out, they should be clean little toothpick through the middle. Pew. And if you don't have toothpicks because you are like me and you are a college student and you do not have such things, you can totally put a fork in and just see if it comes out clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forks. We all have forks. Hopefully you have forks. If you don't have forks, I'm sorry. See you later, buddies. Bye. Muffins, are you ready? They're ready! Don't forget the fork test. It's clean! Woo! Yeah, your muffins are done, but you still don't want to take them out. Let them rest for a second, let them chill out, and then you can totally eat your muffin. So the cool thing about this recipe, like I mentioned before, is that you can pretty much add whatever you want to it, and it comes out really awesome. Just like I said, don't forget the eggs. Eggs are really, really, really important to the egg muffin recipe. Mm -hmm. So once your egg muffins are ready, you can enjoy them straight out of the pan, or you can pop them in the fridge. They keep pretty well, so you can just uh, take these with you in the morning for a quick, nice little breakfast uh, snacky snack. Um, pop them in the microwave for like 20 seconds, and it'll be super duper to do for mm -hmm, egg muffins. If you like what I make here, then go ahead and subscribe and for super awesome, delicious recipes each week. And we will see you what next week. Bye. Time to cook. This is really awesome. Because I'm awesome. Yeah.